here is our slope to platform. If you watched the previous video, we went through how to add a circular collision. However, a polygonal collision is a bit more involved. We have to plot vertices before Echo knows where to put the collision. If we go back into Figma, you'll notice each vertex here has an X and Y coordinate. This is what we're going to use to plot our vertices for Echo. Luckily, I've already done this and I know the values of this specific shape already. When we add the vertices for the polygon we want to collide with, we need to normalize them so that the first vertice is zero, zero. Echo places zero, zero coordinates in the center of the respective shape. So in our case, that's here. If our first point is zero, zero, then that will put the overall collision here, which is not what we want. So what we'd have to do is move this shape to the left at exactly half of the width of the original shape, and then move it down at exactly half the height of the original shape. This might sound confusing. So what I'm gonna do is write the code first and then explain what the code is doing. Let's create a new function and call it slope vertices. This is going to take an argument of the sloped platform as an FLX sprite, and it's going to return an array of vector twos. Now let's create a nested array of our coordinates that are on Figma at the moment. Now we need to normalize these values. And the best way to do that is to loop through each value in the array and minus them by the original one. So here, this number is gonna be minus by the original value, which is 203, and that will make it zero. Here, it'll be minus by 1080, and that'll make it zero. Again, when we come to here, we'll minus that by 203, 1080, 203, 1080, and so on. To do that, let's use the map array function. For those who don't know what a vector two is, just imagine a vector two is like an array with two values, but unlike an array, it doesn't need to be read in sequence. It can be read in any order, in random order. And this is a preferred way of reading values in a vector when it comes to managing things on the GPU. So on a processor that can calculate multiple values at the same time really quickly. If you want to know more about vector or matrix data types, I have a course about shaders that goes into them. I'll have a link to that in the description. But for now, let's deal with this unknown identifier issue. Flixel does not come with the vector2 data type by default, but Echo does. So we have to import that data type from Echo. This isn't quite finished, but let's add a polygonal collision to our sloped platform to see what it will look like in the game. As you can see here, this is where our collision is for our sloped platform. Let's move it to the correct position. Let's get the width of the sloped platform and minus it by all the X coordinates. Now let's get the height of the sloped platform divided by two and minus it by all the Y coordinates. And this should put our collision in the right position. Sorry, let's change this from a minus to a plus. Now let's add a listener to our player so they can climb up the sloped platform. You can see how easy it is with Echo to add a slope to the game that our player can interact with.